All right, Keith, thanks a lot. The fog and the dreariness of the day not stopping voters from getting out across North Mississippi, getting to the polls to vote on a number of major races. WCBI's Emily Casulo is at a precinct in Starkville with turnout there. Hey guys, we're here at the Starkville Central Precinct where officials tell us it's been pretty busy throughout the day, surprisingly. And right here joining me now is Miss Mary Dean Rose. You are the returning manager here? Correct. Correct. So, um, how's it been today? Any craziness? It's been crazy, yes, most of the day. We started out at 7 o'clock with a line, and it's pretty much until just a few minutes ago, it's been that way all day. We had four machines today, we probably needed six. But uh, at our precinct, but we've it, we thought it was going to be very light today. It has not. It's been very heavy. So. so I'm sure the day is going by pretty quickly for you since it's been so busy, hectic. It has. I got up at four this morning, so it's been a <laughs> long day, but it's a fun day. Yep, we you're enjoy it. you're a pro at this. You've been doing this for you said 25 years now. Correct. Correct. I'm I'm in the back in the day when we tallied and all paper votes. So yes. What would you say is one of the biggest races out here in Octibaha County? Well, for me personally, because I work for the circuit clerk, we're, you know, we're rooting for our guy, Glenn. Uh, but we're also very interested in the sheriff. We're very interested in our DA, Forrest Allgood, who's been with us a long time and been a very good DA. So we're, you know, we're looking at those, you know, those things. Also, I'm sure a lot of people are interested in the 42. So... We just got a lot of things on it. The ballot was very long, and that's what took us so long to vote a lot of people, too, because they were real concerned about things, and they wanted to make sure they got their ballot right. Right, because some of the questions on there can be confusing, especially with 42 and 42A. Correct, correct. So, you know, they took their time voting, and, but people were very patient, so that helped. All right, good to hear. And any tips for voters who haven't made it out to the polls yet? No, just get here and make sure your vote counts. We just want people to vote. Very important because some of these races today could get close. There are probably going to be many that are going to be close. All right, and just a friendly reminder, polls will close at 7 o'clock tonight. Just make sure to bring your photo ID. Reporting from Starkville, Emily Casulo, WCBI News. All right, Emily, thanks a lot. Well, the